Hey guys! Um, today I am doing a really quick video for you because I have a lot to do this week and I'm really overwhelmed. Um, and I don't have a lot of time to edit so I'm really hoping that I can just do this like in one take. So here we go. Um, I'm also sorry about the background noise. I have my fan on because it's really really hot. <laughs> yeah, that's happening. It's not as bad as before though because it was making like a clicking noise and then I like jump punched it and now it's not making a clicking noise so basically I'm a handyman. So today I'm doing a book review for Hannah Hart's Walking Book Club. Uh, Hannah Hart does uh, My Drunk Kitchen and she also does the Walking Book Club on her second channel. Um, she's hilarious. Go and check her out. Her URL is going to be like here. I hope. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll put it in the description as well. Um, she's the reason why I'm sitting in front of a camera right now so if she watches this I will probably just kill over and die. But I'll die happy. The book that we were reading for the Walking Book Club, well, we're supposed to be listening to it, but I don't do audiobooks because I <laughs> lose focus really badly. So I actually read it in physical form. Um, was The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Um, it's about overcoming uh, creative blocks and fear and resistance. The key term is resistance. He writes it with a capital R. It's like this universal force um, that he talks about preventing people from... Uh, achieving all that they could possibly achieve um, and getting the most out of themselves I guess uh, and you know overcoming he's an author so it's really it's about overcoming writer's block but he's applying it to everything um, and I think it's really relatable on any level no matter what you're doing in life whether you're pursuing something creative or not um, read it because it's already helped me. I, I was like 25% of the way through the book and I was like, I need to write my book now. I have to go write a book. Um, and then I was like, oh, I should probably finish my exams first. But I'm going to start writing it um, next month. So I'm very excited about that. Um, shameless self-promotion. Read my book when I'm writing it. It's an awesome book. He talks about how uh, resistance manifests itself as fear. So whatever you really want to do or really should be doing or whatever's going to really make you feel fulfilled or happy is what you're going to be most scared of. Um, I've been wanting to write a book since I was five years old and I still haven't done it and I'm 23 so I'm going to say that definitely applies to me. Um, I couldn't tell you why I'm so scared of it, maybe just because it's a big undertaking uh, or, you know, the risk of failure, that's something he talks about a lot, like being scared of failing, but it doesn't matter. And he also talks about the fact that it doesn't matter if what you do is good, as long as you just sit down and do it. Um, that's like the first step to overcoming it. So, yeah, I'm going to try and do um, NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month, uh, which is in November. I'm going to put a link to stuff about that in the description as well, um, if you don't know what it is. Yeah, and so he talks a lot about how to overcome that fear, um, how to pursue whatever it is you want to pursue in life. It um, doesn't have to be something creative, it can be like a particular career, or it could be opening your own business, or it could be like sport, anything, anything at all. Yeah, so I found it really, really helpful. Uh, it's definitely motiva motivated me to go after my dream. Um, I have a couple of dreams. I mean, I'm already going after one by sitting here right now talking to you, so that's a start. The only thing I didn't like about it was the third section of the book. Uh, he got really spiritual and started talking about God and angels and stuff, and I was able to relate a lot to it in my own sort of spirituality. Um, I'm agnostic, so I don't believe in, like, God as such, uh, but there's, like, there's something like I believe in the universe having power and I believe in karma and stuff like that so I was able to still sort of relate to it but then he got very like really weirdly religious and he started talking about how you're you're born to do one thing and you should only do that and I don't believe that I don't subscribe to that I think that you can do whatever you want to do like this you don't only have one calling in life some people might be particularly good at something um but yeah I definitely believe that you can do whatever you want to do, pursue anything. Just going back to my last video, really, I mean, 
I've already talked about this, so I'm not going to ramble too much about it. I think that everybody should read this book. It's really short. It won't take you long at all. The audiobook's only like three hours, and it is a super helpful book um, if there's something that you're not doing that you think you should be doing. Apart from, like, assignments. Who cares about those? They're lame. Alright, guys. Um... This has been a very quickly thrown together video because I have a lot on this week, but uh, next week I promise will be better and like funnier and things. Maybe I'll wash my hair. That's something I didn't do for this one. Uh, yeah, because I'll have more time to prepare and more time to edit. Um, Alright guys, so I will see you next week with a somewhat better video. Okay, bye guys.